A new study shows that everything that you thought to be true about dinosaurs might be wrong. Welcome back to IO, I'm Charlotte Dobre. So before we get into this video, let me know what your favorite dinosaur is in those comments down below. So chances are you named one of three types of dinosaurs. Meat eating theropods like Tyrannosaurus rex and long neck sauropodomorphs like the Brontosaurus were in one group called Sauruscians. Horned dinosaurs like Triceratops and Stegosaurus were Ornithischians and they were a different group entirely from the other types. These different branches of dinosaurs are how they have been classified since the year 1887. All museums and textbooks support this theory. And you probably learned this as a fact in your first grade science class. But according to Matthew Barron, a PhD student at the University of Cambridge, the way we have been classifying dinosaurs and their family tree is completely wrong. Barron spent years comparing 74 different early dinosaurs and their relatives. He avoided the late arriving species and focused on the ones from the Triassic and early Jurassic periods. Based on his research, he has concluded that long necks and meat eating dinosaurs are not in the same group. He moved the meat eaters and horned dinosaurs into the same branch, which he called Ornithoscaldians, and the long necks are on the other branch, called Sauruscians. Doing this is like suddenly saying that cats and dogs are related to each other. So, I have a question. How did scientists not see this before? The original theory was proposed in 1887 by British paleontologist Harry Seeley. He divided these dinosaurs based on the shapes of their hips. It seems like the theory made sense at the time. Long necks and theropods have similar hips, therefore it would make sense that they were related. No one had tested this theory. But now that we have evidence of far more species of dinosaurs that existed at that time, we can now match up their characteristics. When Barron was researching, he came across characteristics in the existing specimens of Ornithischians. He got a sense that they were pretty theropodish. This doesn't change what we know about the behavior of dinosaurs, like how they breathed, ate, moved, reproduced, and socialized. All of that will stay the same. But the fact that the fundamental way of classifying dinosaurs might have changed is a huge thing. And apparently his theory looks like it could be true. Paleontologist Stefan Brusate at the University of Edinburgh said that the new theory is plausible but not a slam dunk. And University of Maryland paleontologist Thomas Holtz said there is a very good chance that they are correct, even though it does go against decades of research pointing in a different way. This study was published in the British science journal Nature. Alrighty guys, it is comment time. This was from our new scientific study shows humans might be related to Aliens video. Alex Garza said, did Charlotte leave too? Please don't say yes because Charlotte definitely would have done this one if she was here. As you can see, I did not leave. I was working on our other channel, Life's Biggest Questions. I was in the same room when that video was filmed. But you should definitely come check out our other channel. It's really great. We post extremely interesting content all about the controversial topics of life. Definitely come over and say hi. They don't really like me over there yet, so some support in the comments would be nice. <laughs> Q Harris said, hi. Good day to the whole IO team. Thanks for the great content as always. Greetings fellow potato spuds, taters, queen potato Charlotte. I've always wanted to be a queen. Never thought I would be a queen of potatoes though. Looks like I still got my wish in a weird way. Anybody else feel like my bun kind of looks like a potato crown? Anyways guys, that is all for now. If you want to keep watching IO, make sure you click one of these two videos right over here.